स्टूडेंट्स लेटर सॉल्व दिस इरोडो प्रॉब्लम 1.63 द फॉलोइंग पैरामीटर्स ऑफ द अरेंजमेंट ऑफ फिगर आर अवेलेबल नाउ इन दिस क्वेश्चन देयर इज अ फिगर लेट मी फर्स्ट शो द फिगर दिस इज द फिगर दिस इज एन इंक्लाइंड प्लेन ऑफ एंगल ऑफ इंक्लिनेशन अल्फा दिस इज अ पुली मास ऑफ दिस ब्लॉक इज एम वन एंड मास ऑफ दिस ब्लॉक इज एम टू दिस ब्लॉक इज कनेक्टेड बाई अ थ्रेड गोइंग ओवर द पुली एंड अगेन कनेक्टेड विथ ब्लॉक एम टू ओके दिस इज द सिचुएशन नाउ लेट अस रीड द क्वेश्चन द एंगल अल्फा विच द इनक्लाइंड प्लेन फॉर्म्स विद द हॉर्जोंटल यस दिस इज ओके एंड द कोफिशियंट ऑफ फ्रिक्शन के ओके देयर इज अ कोफिशियंट ऑफ फ्रिक्शन के बिटवीन द बॉडी एम वन एंड द इनक्लाइंड प्लेन ओके नाउ इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव टू कंसिडर द फ्रिक्शन द मासेस ऑफ द पुली एंड द थ्रेड्स एज वेल एज द फ्रिक्शन इन द पुली आर नेग्लिजिबल ओके पुली इज मासलेस थ्रेड इज मासलेस एंड पुली इज फ्रिक्शनलेस नाउ एज्यूमिंग बोथ बॉडीज टू बी मोशनलेस एट द इनिशियल मोमेंट सो इनिशियल वेलोसिटी ऑफ बोथ ब्लॉक्स आर जीरो फाइंड द मास रेशियो एम टू बाई एम वन एट विच द बॉडी एम टू स्टार्ट कमिंग डाउन सो इन फर्स्ट पार्ट बॉडी एम टू स्टार्ट कमिंग डाउन इन सेकेंड पार्ट बॉडी एम टू स्टार्ट गोइंग अप एंड इन थर्ड पार्ट बॉडी इज एट रेस्ट For all three parts, we have to calculate the ratio of m2 by m1. Now, first I have to solve for m2 is going down. Now, for m2 is going down, what is the situation? For the block at inclined plane, when m2 go down with acceleration a. the block will go up with acceleration a now when block will try to accelerate in upward direction the friction force will act in the down the plane direction so the friction force will act down the plane what is the <coughs> value of friction force mu into n1 now we can break the component of mg for m1 the component of mg down the plane is mg sin alpha and the component of mg perpendicular to the inclined plane is mg cos alpha and normal reaction must act perpendicular to the plane now there is a tension force on block in this direction let me call the value t now the block is moving up the plane so this t must be greater than these two forces so let me write the newton's second law equation t minus mg sin alpha minus mu into n1 should be equal to mass into acceleration acceleration is a for this block there is a very simple equation mg will act in downward direction m to g and tension will act in upward direction t so equation for this block is m to g minus tension t should be equal to m2 into a now we have to calculate the value of m2 by m1 so that the block just starts accel going up means accelerating so first i eliminate the tension t so this t must be cancelled with this t and equation is m2 g minus m1 g sin alpha minus mu n1 the value of n1 is mg cos alpha so mg cos alpha should be equal to m1 plus m2 into a 
now for block just start accelerating up the plane just start means <coughs> acceleration is nearly value of acceleration is very small so very small so we can put the value as of a as zero so the equation becomes m2 g this part is zero so m2 g should be equal to m1 g into sin alpha plus mu cos alpha g should be cancelled with this g and the value of m2 by m1 should be equal to sin alpha plus mu cos alpha if value of m2 by m1 is this the block try to accelerate up the plane try to accelerate means acceleration is just above the zero so in equation i put the value of a as zero so this is the answer of my first part for first case m2 by m1 must be equal to sin alpha plus okay in the question coefficient of friction is not given as mu it is given as k so sin alpha plus k cos alpha so this is the first answer now what happen when this block try to move up so the block on the inclined plane move down the <coughs> plane now in this situation the direction of acceleration is this and the direction of acceleration for this block is this now when this block try to move down the plane this friction force will act up the plane so the friction force is mu into n1 the block try to accelerate down the plane means this force is greater than this force so the newton's second law equation is mg sin alpha minus t mg sin alpha minus t minus mu into n1 force should be equal to mass into acceleration mass into acceleration for this block this force must be greater than this force so the equation is t minus m2 g force should be equal to mass into acceleration now add up these two equations so this t cancel out this t and m1 g sin alpha minus mu n1 n1 should be equal to mg cos alpha mu mg cos alpha should be equal to uh, not not should be this minus m2 g should be equal to m1 plus m2 into acceleration a now again just slide down means acceleration is just above the zero its value is 0 0.0001 so we can put the value of acceleration a as zero so this part becomes zero now for that m1 g sin alpha must be equal to not m1 g sin alpha minus mu m1 g cos alpha must be equal to m2 into g so g should be cancel out and sin alpha minus mu cos alpha should be equal to m2 by m1 so the second answer is m2 by m1 must be equal to sin alpha minus k cos alpha what is the third case third case is both blocks are at rest both blocks are at rest means let me write <coughs> these two values so 
m2 by m1 let me call it m2 by m1 as 0 and this is the m2 by m1 as infinity so m2 by m1 sin alpha minus k alpha so this number is sin alpha minus k cos alpha and again this number is m2 by m1 this number this number is sin alpha plus k cos alpha so when m2 by m1 is greater than this part the block will accelerate up the plane the block will accelerate up the plane when m2 by m1 is less than this number block will slide down the plane now this is the situation <laughs> when m2 by m1 is greater than this number and less than this number block will at rest block will not try to accelerate so the third answer is m2 by m1 must be greater than sin alpha minus k alpha and less than sin alpha plus k alpha so this is the situation and this is the final answer